James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today's July 18th, 2023. 1 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We've been waiting for this. Big Sunspot AR3363 just produced a significant solar flare, a long duration M6 class event during the early hours of July 18th. NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory recorded the blast near the sun's southwestern limb. Energetic protons accelerated by the flares have reached Earth and are now pepping the top of our planet's atmosphere. This is called a radiation storm and a polar event. According to data from NOAA's GO-16 satellite, it's a Category S2 event. Although the explosion was not X-class, it was more powerful than many X-flares would be. Why? Because it lasted so long. The flare's X-ray output was above M5 for more than an hour and above M1 for over four hours. It had plenty of time to lift up substantial coronal mass ejection out of the sun's atmosphere. Indeed, Soho chronographs have since detected a bright CME emerging from the blast site. The snowy speckles in this image are energetic protons striking Soho's camera system. Although the coronal mass ejection is not headed directly for Earth, it appears to have an Earth-directed component. A NASA model suggests it could deliver an effective glancing blow as early as July 20th, 0100 UTC time. NOAA is doing their own modeling and results should be available shortly. Our preliminary forecast, the CME's flank will reach Earth on July 20th. Its impact could spark a G1 to G2 class geomagnetic storm with a slight chance of a G3 geomagnetic storm. Stay tuned for updates. Let's take a look at that polar event. A polar cap absorption PCA event has been in progress since the evening of Monday, July 17, 2023, Eastern Time. The event began at approximately 9.15 p.m. Eastern Time and was initiated by the arrival of energetic protons at the 10 MeV level at Earth and on the onset of an S1 solar radiation storm event that began at 0115 UTC. The S1 event was triggered by a coronal mass ejection associated with an M5 flare from Sunspot Group Region AR3363 that accelerated particles towards Earth. The PCA events can prevent the ability to communicate via high-frequency radio propagation around the polar regions and can last for hours or even days. This event is likely to continue throughout the 18th of July today and perhaps into the 19th of July. Continue to follow the latest information and forecast by visiting our website for updates here at NOAA Space Weather. Please share, please subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.